Hey everybody, it's Tracking Pat. And today's video is going to be a short overview on the Track 2 Op 3-axis portable milling machine. As you can tell right here, it's very compact in size. It weighs about 2,800 pounds, and the footprint is approximately two and a half by four feet. It's purposely designed this way so that we can move it around the shop and maybe even push it down a aisle in order to get it where we need it because the idea of it being a two-op is that this morning I might need it on this end of my shop doing some secondary operations. And in the afternoon, I might need to move it down the hall and set it next to another machine to do the second ops there. The control that's built into it is very compact as well to help keep the size of it down, okay? Now, some of the other things that you need to know about the machine. First of all, it's got a three horsepower spindle and it uses BT30 tooling. It has either a 6,000 RPM spindle or a 10,000 uh, RPM spindle, depending on which model you purchase. And then the feed rates are up to 600 inches a minute. As I open the door here, you're gonna see that inside the back, there's a panel back there, and that's where the eight position tool changer is. And so we're able to use the X, Y, and Z axes to actually put the tools in and take the tools out of the ATC. So there's no real moving parts other than it coming forward and going back. And when you're machining, that door protects the tool changer from all of the different um, chips flying around inside the machine. It comes standard with a uh, coolant tray in the bottom to catch the chips and keep the coolant. It has an automatic lube pump to keep all the services going. Okay. Also, what I think you need to know about it is the fact that the control itself is somewhat of a hybrid. And the reason I'm telling you that is because to keep it compact, we also limited how much stuff you could program right at the control. So it'll do simple stuff like hole patterns, positioning, cutting circles and squares, pockets and different profiles and stuff like that. But if I need to do something that's more advanced, I can use one of our other advanced programming systems that we make for our other controls. And when we import that into here, it'll run them as well. Last but not least, it'll run a G-code program. So if I'm using another source like a CAD CAM system, just take the G-code program and bring it into the machine. So that brings up another very important point. And that's the fact of some of the options that are with the control, right? So one of the options that comes with the control is what you see here in the tray for the keyboard, as well as for the tooling. And if you buy that option, it does make it a little bit wider, but it does add some conveniences for things like naming your programs better or having your tools uh, on the machine where they're handy, okay? Another option that's in here, as you can see, is we have a vise in here on a fixture plate. So there's three different fixture plates. The first one is, of course, the vice fixture plate that has the vice mounted to it. So if I take it out and put it back in, it's always in the same place. The way that we do that is we have a Juergens ball lock system that puts it in the same place every time I bring it back into the machine. It has the optional fence and uh, magnetic stops in it. And what that's for is so that I have different length stops, I can use that to position my parts and cut each one in the same place from part to part. Okay. The other fixture plates, there's just a standard flat one that you can build your own tooling on for specific jobs. And then last but not least, there is a different one that's made for holding a programmable indexer. Okay. Now with the programmable indexer, you can also purchase a setup kit for it that comes with the arm that holds it and everything else to make it work. And once you have that in here, the machine will shake hands with the indexer and tell the indexer when to go and the indexer will tell the machine when to move on to the next process, okay? Um, some of the other things you should know about, you can get the BT30 tooling and the retention knobs from Track Machine Tools, or you can purchase them from your local tool manufacturer. Um, you can also get the offline programming from us to run the more high-end programs, and depending on which one you buy, your rep can probably tell you exactly what that costs for you, okay? Last but not least, I wanna talk a little bit about the pallet jack. The pallet jack actually comes with the machine because it is specialized in being small enough to fit either the front or the back to get it down an aisle. So it actually comes with it and gives you all the capability you need that we were just talking about, okay? So this should give you a pretty good overview on what the machine's about. 
For any other questions you might have, I suggest you just contact your local track rep and he'll take over where I left off. Thanks a lot for watching.